moment that I'll always remember is... When we went and worked at Mother Teresa's Crim Dawn, when me and Tilson were walking around handing out our clothes. When we went walking down Sonogachi that one night, we had the opportunity to go to Prim Dawn. I really enjoyed working with the children at Diadon. She just invited us in. She lives in this tiny little house on top of like a four-story building. There was one lady that was blind. Just the looks on the people's face just blew me away. I mean, people just so grateful just to receive a shirt. She was just kind of leading me like she knew where she was going. She was just like leaning on me for support. I can remember just shaving one of the gym there. To shave their face and for them just to smile for five seconds. To feed them, to have that personal time, to ask them their name was incredible. It was just a really humbling experience to work with the kids. Um, a lot of them had severe disabilities. She went all the way down and bought us tea and biscuits and brought it up to us. It just really helped put things in perspective and what Mother Teresa's ministry was all about. Just kind of seeing them just immediately put on the stuff and just like their face light up. It was just, I don't know, it was really powerful. It was a really big blessing to be able to serve the children. It really meant a lot to be a part of that, at least for a day. Send us to the to surrender we will go send us to the nations to the broken lead us to surrender we will go the heart of this city has really connected with me just walking up and down the street seeing the people how much it's a community it's a family I don't think there's any way it cannot impact you especially with some of the different ministries that we were able able to participate in when you're able to be a part of that and to see that and to see just how lives are being changed through Christ certain images pop up um, you know when I'm just lying in bed and I'm gonna remember those forever and um, you will you're not gonna forget them because this is an experience that is that, a, is that a lifetime? I think it's great to get a different perspective and get out of your comfort zone, see how other people live and what their customs are. Coming here has definitely put me out of my comfort zone on <laughs> numerous occasions. Um, but I don't know, I think I've, I've grown a lot through that. If we leave here unchanged, it's pointless. And we wasted a bunch of money to come on this trip. I think when you come, your heart is open to new things that you would never know um, if you hadn't walk the streets and smell the smells and seeing the people. I don't know what the end um, is going to look like for me, how it's going to change the way I act, think, or do. But I think the important thing is that we do change. I'll never be the same, I don't think. Something like this is so worth it. It's so hard and it's so challenging, but it's so awesome. It's something that everyone should do. Having a global perspective is just priceless. It almost challenges you to kind of rethink the way you're living when you get to meet all these people um, who are living so differently than we do in the U.S. I would not trade this experience for anything. Like it was. Amazing. My vision would be that every student would have the opportunity to travel abroad uh, because it not only teaches you about the culture and how to respect people who are different, but it also helps you notice how alike we all are and it changes us. It will change the way you see the world and just open your eyes. It's something that every student should capitalize on, it's something that every student should jump at and it will change your life. For whatever track they end up going down, they can be a voice for the underprivileged. They can catch a glimpse of what they could do. Who knows, they can set the world on fire. that Mother Teresa said, and we've been told that here. She said, you can't do what I do. 
And I cannot do what you do, but together we can do something beautiful for God. We will go.